What happens, and I don't even know the logistics here, but if Dustin Bufflin is just available in a couple of weeks, like if he gets bought out or whatever they're terming it, I'm not sure what the terminology is, but is he available to play? Like okay, if he's we, healthy? We or? played a game called Level of Concern. What would be your level of concern that his weight had something with a three in it? <laughs> uh, uh, well, well, what's the, is it a one to ten? No, <laughs> there's options. A pint on the patio, a six-pack, a 12-pack, or Nicolas Cage in Vegas? Uh, I would be worried. I would be Cage worried. <laughs> you can never, <laughs> never ask me to stop drinking. Yeah, that's concerning. Well, I mean, just think he hasn't done anything all year. The right. man's a giant. Played at 270. Playing. Played at yeah, 270. He's a, a new, like he's a giant yeah. of a human when he's playing. But I can I can almost be certain that if this termination of the contract goes through, uh, there will be teams that will be licking their chops to find out, can we add buff for the end of the year mm-hmm. if we can get 15 games plus playoffs out of them? Yeah. Absolutely. I would be calling Absolutely. 100%. Oh, no kidding. Like, what, that's the thing. We can joke about it all you want, but I'll bet you he'd get paid more than you think he'd get paid. And what would you give Dustin Bufflin for the rest of the season? Bonus. They all bonus. They can't be bonuses. They don't do bonuses. Yeah, it, 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 he'd have to get paid. Be a prorated. But the deal. Leafs don't have any money. I'm not even talking about Toronto. Let's let's okay. take them out of it so that we can be completely objective okay. about this. I want to see him go on a breakaway though, and his belt bust like Pavel <laughs> Sandoval's, <laughs> <laughs> like when he was at bat and it just exploded when he played for the Red Sox. Yeah, yeah. Good. the old Kung Fu Panda there just didn't fit in those pants. But man, if he is in a mood <clears throat> and playing like that team that was in town last night, I'd yeah. call him up. If I'm, I, Florida's terrible defensively. I, I loved Dustin Bufflin as a player because I think he's oh, one of the most – he's a Swiss Army knife. He's so unique because he can play any which way. But it's just unfortunate. I don't know if the drive if the, the drive of the game, like his passion for it is gone. He seems like a guy who legitimately wants to go ice fishing and drink beer and hang out with his buddies. But he's going to wake up 10 years from now and go, you know what, I probably should have played hockey a little longer. Or, or he might not. Yeah, you know, he might. He might right? not. Like that, that, Everyone's got their own I mean, timeline. Yeah, and so he, I don't know, if he wants to play, he's going to have the chance to play. I, I don't think there's any question. Brian, you brought up Florida. Um, Joel Quenbo and him have history, of course, from Chicago. Yeah. Like if, if, if that were ever to fit, that would make sense. Florida needs defense, wants a defense, Dale Talon, Said in his interview, they'd like to have a, a vet, yeah, add a veteran guy. Um, well, kind of checks a lot of boxes if right, you know, if if that's what he wants to do. And and I would think they would be one team that would call him up and and try to gauge the interest. But the first thing that has to happen is the the contract's got to be terminated. Yeah, you got to get over that hurdle first, and then you got to talk to Bufflin. And you've, you've got to get a read that you can what? trust. He wants to play. He's going to be committed. He's in the gym. Yeah, and what if you're sitting in Winnipeg's dress room and this guy's got his contract terminated and he goes and plays somewhere else? It's going to happen. Like, why would it not happen? Because I don't think he wants to play hockey. Well, that's okay. If that's the case, that's fine. But if he, you know, if he does, he can, as far I know, as I know. Just, that's a complete jam job. You've yeah. liter- legitimately jammed up the Winnipeg Jets. Mm-hmm. Like... Yeah, there's no other way of defining it. He just shut it down and then woke up and said, actually, quit, I'm going to play and I'm one out of here. Quit basically. on his team, yeah. It's almost a trade demand without being so explicit. Right. In a way, but I never got the impression like he had a problem with playing in Winnipeg. I don't think so either. I thought he quite enjoyed it. Um, maybe at the core of it all, he's like, you know what, I just don't want to. Yeah. And I guess we're going to find out pretty quick. 